What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more free run. Today we're doing episodes five and six. Super excited. One of the shows I look forward to the most, especially because people say I haven't even gotten to the really amazing stuff yet. I know it's just a very beautiful, touching, wholesome fantasy show that I'm very invested into these characters. Right now, I obviously love Hemel, Eisen, and Heiter, but right now it's Fern and Freerun out to find, is it Ariole, Ar Ar whatever it's pronounced, the uh, the land where souls rest, get some more information, talk to Hemel again, hopefully, that'd be fun. Um, shout out Flame, can't wait to see more of her. I'm super intrigued, that's all I must say. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length to the show, check out the Patreon, always available for you guys. Uh, check, follow me on all social medias. We are, are live on Twitch watching this right now. All the Dapper Darius. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. All the Dapper Darius. I'm not going to waste any time. Free run. Episodes 5 and 6. The first one is called Phantoms of the Dead. Very intrigued. Let's hop right on into it. Right, here we go. Shout out Aisen for his assistance with this last episode. The northernmost end of the continent. Ooh. Seeing her again, she is not only an exceptional mage, but she's beautiful. Ooh, that's a good way to put it. It's the small, even... If it may be small comparative to the grand scheme of your life, you know, it changed you immensely. All the memories you've gone on since, you know. Again, I know I say it damn near every 10 minutes watching these episodes, but huge shout out to Himmel, Eiter, and Aizen. The goats, man. She's already spent half her life with Freerun. Episode 5, Phantoms of the Dead. Crazy how much Fern's... <laughs> Phantoms of the Dead. Crazy how much Fern's already grown up in the short amount of episodes we've known her, you know? <laughs> 28 years in the Wille region located in the Central Lands. This is one of my favorite songs they play in this show. Again, I feel like I'm at a tavern, I'm about to drink some mead and tell you guys about my daily adventures, you know? Title of this episode. We're getting a bunch of stories from people around town or people around the village. Ooh, that's creepy. I'm very curious. It's a nasty one. She does have some clue as to what monster could be causing these shenanigans. Look at Fern, being proactive. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. So we're going to help the people of this village and deal with whatever paranormal activity is going on here. Seeing them on their travels makes me want to like go out camping myself. They go through such beautiful areas. I like how she's kind of quizzing Fern. Got to up her knowledge, you know. Illusion magic. That's scary. I won't lie. Einzam. That's horribly horrible. Yeah, if I saw a phantom of someone I knew that was dead, I'd go, hey, what's up? How you been? And then I'm dead. I, I just am now thinking the people of the dead, like you say that, but if you saw Heiter, you know. 
Imagine we see a Himmel or a Hydra. This looks like the prime time area for an Aizen. Love how they summon their staffs. I was just saying that. What if we see a Hydra? Stay calm, good. See? It affects you more emotionally than you'd expect. Ooh, and especially with the direct memory of what we were just talking about, you're not going to be able to shoot him. It is one of her most cherished memories. That's so sad. Yeah. She's still maturing and growing up. Oh, no. That is what Himmel would say. I don't know if he needed to blow up the whole cliffside, but... Oh, you can see it hiding behind the illusion magic. I like how it's hiding its face, too. I love the designs of the creatures so far. Snap back into it, Fern. Good shit. Way to deal with it. That's a good point. I know that may have depressed you a little bit seeing a fake phantom hiter abuse your memories, but now we're going our way to see the real one and Himmel, so. In the right Regal Canyon located in the Central Lands. A dragon? Whoa! And it's a red dragon too? Ooh! We want to keep that grimoire at all possible, bro. The new offensive magic, how it's just Zoltrak, it's just that's just the plain offense, it's so crazy. Even though it's hard scales, just purely reflected that nothing even happened to it. Okay, it's gonna fly up and Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that would be very nerve-wracking. Okay, eventually his armor will wear down a little bit. She is scared, understandably so. Mmm. The red-haired boy from the opening, maybe? Well, you do need an ideal party for dealing with stuff like this. Or your name's Stark. Aizen already let us know of one. Okay, thank you, Aizen. If he's Aizen's apprentice, he has to be nice. I wonder if that's the red-haired boy from the opening. I'm very curious. Oh, wow. Yes, it most definitely is. Aizen's apprentice. I like his battle axe he's using right now. So he's kind of the village's guard against this particular dragon. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Shout out to all the grandmas out there. I'm having lunch with mine tomorrow. They took down a shadow dragon as well because they have the horn. Yeah, while well, you're warning us about a dragon, we have taken care of the demon king already, you know. <laughs> I thought you wanted to meet us. But we do want you as a companion. Ideally, you'd be our tank. Or our bruiser, you know. Alright, that's fair. I'm assuming it's Himmel. 
I love the effort she goes through to continue on the legacy of the things that connect her to her old friends, you know. That's a big ask. 30 seconds with as strong as and fast as, as it is, you know? That's a big ask. That's what happened when they had their stare down. I thought he was just sitting there like manning it up, you know? They all thought he was the triumphant hero who saved the. <laughs> oh, Stark. Oh, Stark. They are such nice people. God damn it. That's quite the change in character from just a minute ago. That's hilarious. I already like him as a character. But did he carve this into the mountain or what does she think? What is she looking at? Maybe this is where we're going to trap it. All the villagers are going to gas him up. Man, they're eating good over here. You have a special life, Fern. You were also scared to death, so that's a good rebuttal. That's funny. Start, I mean, he was trained by Aizen. He's a little cowardice, but he's definitely powerful. I was wondering, did he carve that in the mountain? Damn. Not a good start. Praying for his uh, previous dwarves, right? Now he's someone who can fight for another. I like that. That's a good answer, especially from Aizen. No, I'm saying it looks like he carved that little mini ravine into the mountain, into the cliffside. He most certainly is. I love the battle axe. Oh, that was a fast ass episode. Anytime, like, like a, a tank usually is more shield armor, but he's more of a bruiser, you know, willing to be the front line, but still mad. Ooh, I'm down. I like him so far. All right. On to episode six, the hero of the village. My boy Stark is training. As long as he remains there, they think they're safe and can live much happier, you know? So, he's just there as the moral, you know, as the morale booster of the village. The hero of the village. Respectable. Kind of accidentally filled this role, but he's going to continue it no matter what. You never know once a problem confronts you, he might actually run away. That's how he got that scar. Jesus. That, that boy Aizen is different. Coming from Fern, that's big, you know? She was the one calling him cowardly first. She froze in fear. I don't I didn't even see this, man. That is a scary ass monster though. Because she wants you to develop as a mage, you know? It's a tough love kind of lesson. 
Ooh. Put out Urn. Resolve is essentially half the battle. It's mentality. Like I said, coming from Fern, who was calling him a coward at first, you know, it's kind of big. He's not here. <laughs> Where's he at? There's no way he ran. I just don't believe it. He's doing something else. <laughs> he has to forcefully drag her to it. Hey. That's some deep resolve right there. Hey. Shout out my man Stark. Putting aside his cowardice. Stealing his resolve. Oh my god. That's the sign of a true man even though you're scared you still push on you can't have bravery without being scared i fuck with this party more and more every time i see him and the music hitting right now absolutely the weakest are the ones who are the most brave all you need is resolve you got this, my boy. This animation is gorgeous so far. Slide under the tail. Why did he hit him, free run? I love that shot. I love that jump. Only he knew that. That's a sign right there. How strong this kid is. Oh, I love that coming from him. I got goosebumps right now. I can't lie. Cracking those claws. Animation is looking absolutely gorgeous right now. Madhouse is flexing. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Did my man kill it without... Free Rin's help? He literally only needed some mental stability. He needed some resolve. Oh my god. <laughs> that was insane. Aizen was scared of him. His body moved on reflex. God damn. I'm still just geeked after that. Wait, he can spun that axe for the final hit? <笑>そう。くだらなくて、とても楽しい旅だったってよ。料理が出てきましたよ。うん、探索した会があった。I <笑> love the little spell she collects. It's fluffy instead of icy. I do love me some shaved ice. Wow, I didn't realize that. Seven sages of the Demon King. I would much prefer a ridiculous and fun one. Stark is saying his official goodbyes. Now he truly is the hero of the village, even though he didn't feel like it before. This show is just beautiful, man. <laughs> Not a very interesting spell. Oh, what are you looking at, Fern? Oh. 
God damn. I love that. Alright, so we're still the fortress city of Wow. So we're still in that like regal canyon area. You are a big brolic man, I won't lie. We're not gonna try to cause trouble, don't worry. Okay. This is gonna be a long and perilous journey. Okay. Sure. That's a death stare. <laughs> That's scary. Two years? I'm not sure we can wait that long. Yeah, how does he feel about the passage of time? Fern doesn't like it. She wants things to go faster. See? Now they're like on the same side. <laughs> I'm relieved you're normal. You are used to Freerun, who's the least normal when it comes to time, so... That's hilarious. Ooh, they definitely gotta have a way through. It is, but I just defeated a solar dragon. <laughs> Man, low key, just games like this in general and the fantasy element, how deep they go into it, makes me want to play Baldur's Gate again. Go to the fucking guild in Act 3, you know? The black market. All that. I might have to do a replay of that soon. I love Baldur's Gate. And yeah, what do you mean by that? He's not directly answering the question, so... I wonder if there's actually anything to that. She might not admit it, but based on her character and the things she does, that 10 year adventure was the most important thing in her life. But I do want to know more about the past days, you know? I love that. That's why he says he doesn't have a lot of time. He wants to go back and tell all those stories to him. I love that, man. He is being, he is being a dutiful student. まあ、あの人はまだまだ長生きしそうだけどな。静かにして追われてるんだよ。By the guards? By who? Oh! 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 They're like, no. Yeah. So this guy, he's older. He might know of the party back from the day. That's some name recognition for you. She was like, no, I can stay here two years. Battle build up some magic, take our time. Pern and Stark are like, no, thank good. Yeah, let's go. Oh, uh, as it cuts back to them traveling north for the first time, too. With the flowers, the transition, I love that. They did. They did go through a lot of trouble. Oh, man, these episodes are so good. Can't lie. Can't even lie to you, man. Gosh darn it. Those were some beautiful episodes. Newest member of the team, I already enjoy him insanely. Shout out my man Stark. 
I need to look up more voice actors of this show. I, I guarantee I'm going to recognize them from other places. But I love how for him, he's an insanely talented, strong kid, but he's a coward at heart. You know, when he ran away, needed a little bit more confidence and a little bit more resolve to be able to deal with the issues at hand. And I love how he connects to Eisen, where he says he ran away. He was the only one to run when his village was attacked, was just like me, you know. But now he's turned into someone who can fight for others, and that is the sign of a true warrior. And I love how the way they left and separated was that he hit, um, he punched Stark, you know. And you think, did he disappoint you? Why did he hit in the side of third? He was like, his, he, he's sorry, he didn't mean to. His body moved on reflex because he was so scared of this kid because of how talented and strong he is. And then him, I, I don't know if that's specifically Aizen's axe he's wielding, because Aizen used to use an axe, but even if it's not, just him being trained by the axe man himself, and then his training, cutting the hole into that ravine, and then how he dealt with the dragon, that was some of the best animation I've seen so far this year. Absolutely, that might be the best. Like, oh my lord. And I love how he's a part of the team. I'm digging his relationship growing with Fern. Fern's the the stubborn mean one free runs the free flowing who cares kind of girl and he's just funny right now but overall i love the village i love the way they're getting through this regal canyon we're going north it genuinely feels like we're on an adventure with them we're traveling with them we're seeing their day-to-day -day. we're seeing what sort of struggles they come across they get to eat you know eat jumble berry dessert and stuff like it's it feels fast-paced yet they're letting the scenes breathe they're taking their time and i'm loving that immensely music always hitting character design the dragon oh my god was that incredible even the einzom whatever it was called uh the paranormal uh the dead bringer back to life that lured people in with spirits like that's crazy i'm really enjoying the world building right now thoroughly enjoying the characters the music animation all, every aspect of the show is uh is up there that's why i can totally understand why people are just loving the show so far i know episode 19 or 18 was the one that recently came out so i'm a little bit behind but i'm definitely going to catch up by the time they come out live so i'll be able to watch the finale and a few episodes around there with you guys like i said i'm watching this on twitch so come on over check out the patreon if you guys want the uncut full-length versions other than that let me know what you thought in the comments down below leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them i appreciate y'all have a great day dapper squad Peace out.